Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up Active Directory on Windows Server 2022 running on Google Cloud Platform. So from the description box, click the link to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from there you want to create a new virtual machine with this image. So for that, simply click on the launch button. After that, you will be brought to this configuration page. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose a zone or region to deploy this virtual machine to. Once that is done, Scroll down and choose the machine type and the machine series according to your requirements and also the boot disk and the disk space according to your requirements as well. Once that is done, simply scroll down to the bottom and click on this deploy button. Now once the virtual machine has been deployed, come over to compute engine and then head inside the VM instances right over here. From here you can see your newly created virtual machine. Now what we want to do is we want to connect to it. But before that we need to set up a user password for the windows that has been installed inside the virtual machine. So for that simply click on this arrowhead icon and then click on set windows password. Now this is going to ask you for the username so I am going to type that as CIS admin and then click on the set button to set it as the username. After that it is going to show you your password. So copy this password and store it somewhere safe. Now once that is done press windows and then open up an RDP connection and then simply paste this external IP address into the computer field and then click on show options and then change the username to what you have just set. So in my case it was CIS admin and then simply click on connect. After that it is going to ask you for the password so simply provide the password. After typing in the password simply click on the ok button and then for this dialog box click on this do not ask me again for this connection and then click on yes to establish a connection with the newly created virtual machine. Now once the virtual machine loads up simply wait for it to completely load. Now once you are inside the virtual machine the very first step that you want to do is that you want to assign a static IP address. Now for that simply hit the windows key and then type in cmd to open up a command prompt. Now within this command prompt simply type in the command ip config or ip config followed up by a forward slash and then all and then hit enter. Now this is going to display you all of your ethernet or connectivity configurations. After that simply click on this network icon and then choose open network and internet settings. From the settings page simply click on change adapters options and then right click on your ethernet and click on properties. Click on IPv4 and then click on properties once more and then head back to the command prompt. So basically what you are going to do is that you are going to simply copy this IPv4 address Come over to this section, click on use the following IP address and paste the IP address over here. After that, we are also going to copy the subnet mask and paste it over here and then default gateway. And lastly, we are going to type in the preferred DNS and this preferred DNS is going to be 127.0.0.1. After that, simply click on the OK button and wait for the settings to be applied. Now after the configurations have been applied, we can start installing the Active Directory Domain Controller. Now for that, open up Server Manager, click on this flag icon and then click on this option that says promote this server to a domain controller. Now this is going to open up a wizard. Now for this wizard, for the deployment configuration, simply select the option that says add a new forest and then provide a root domain name. So I'm just going to type this one as rebeladmin.net. You can give your name as well. After that click on the next option. Now for the domain controller options, provide yourself for a password and confirm that password in these two fields. Now once that is done, simply click on the next option. Again next and for these additional options, wait for the NetBIOS domain name default to appear. Now once it appears, simply click on the next option to move over to paths. Now for the paths, you can leave them as default and click on the next option. After that it is going to show you a review, so click on next and then wait for the prerequisite check to complete. Now in case you run into this error that you do not have set a password for the administrator account then simply click on the windows icon and then search for computer management. And in this computer management simply click on local users and groups head inside users and then right click on administrator and then click on the set password button and then click on proceed and provide yourself a password. After that click on the ok button to set it as the password and then exit from this computer management, click on this option to rerun the prerequisite check. This time around it should return as green or successful. Once it does, simply click on the install button to actually install the Active Directory Domain Services Controller. Now once it has successfully installed, it is going to log you out of the RDP connection. So that is completely normal. 
Now after the restart, again open up the remote desktop connection and connect to your virtual machine. Now if you want to open up the Active Directory Administrative Center, then simply type in dsac.exe. So there you go, you have successfully installed Active Directory Domain Controller on Google Cloud. So if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links for the blog post which is a step by step guide on how to install Active Directory on GCP and also for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud. And if this tutorial has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.